As a beginning beekeeper, it's oftentimes hard to keep yourself calm working with your bees. Uh, you, you're facing 10, 20, 40 or 50,000 bees per hive buzzing around you when you work with them. And those bees can tell when you're stressed, when you're nervous, when you're excited. And so when working with bees, keep yourself calm, keep your movements slow and purposeful. Don't work with your bees if you had a, a bad day at work. They can tell when you're stressed, when you're impatient. They have good and bad days like the rest of us. And so if you get into your beehive and they're really aggressive, if they're easily agitated, if they won't settle down after a few minutes uh, with the smoke and with working with them, it's time to, to call it a day and, and close that hive back up. They don't want to be worked with. I can't tell you what's the best weather to work with. Uh, overcast days that aren't too hot, that don't have a lot of wind, are great days to work with your bees. Middle of the day when they're out foraging, so, so half or three quarters of the hive is out on the wing flying around looking for nectar and pollen, is a good time to work with your bees. Best day to work with your bees is when you, when you have time to work with them. I would encourage you throughout the summer to be in your hives, looking at them, working with them every seven to 10 days. That will allow you to head off most problems that happen with new beekeepers. So spend the time, plan for the time, but again, pick the right day, stay calm and, and have fun. All right, what an exciting day. Your bees have arrived. And, and now the fear sets in. You have to release this three pound mass of bees and get it into your hive. Well, what you're gonna do is you're going to take, and, and you need to get that mass of bees away from the queen. That's the, that's the first order of business. And you're gonna take a one-to-one -one sugar to water mix in a spray bottle and you're going to 